Jeffrey County residents with ties to Maui react to what's become the country's deadliest wildfire of the past century in the U.S. Nearly 100 people have been found dead after that wildfire pretty much engulfed the Hawaiian island of Maui over the past week, and the search continues. News 13's Claire Purnell spoke with two locals who have been impacted, and Claire is live in our newsroom with their reaction. Claire. Bob, as of last night, authorities say 96 people have been found dead since the fire started last Tuesday, and only 3% of the island has been searched. That's according to Dennis Ng, a retired Hawaiian federal firefighter living in Loris, who spoke to me earlier about the devastating impact the fires have had on his family and community. Lahaina's gone. It's gone. I mean, there's nothing left. Really, uh, you know, 2,200 acres. Uh, over 93 people and, and, and they still can't find the thousand that are missing so far, right? So. Dennis Ng was born and raised on Oahu and as a former federal firefighter and fire chief, he spent a lot of time on Maui working and with his family in Lahaina. Ng says his uncle's home was destroyed in the fire along with most of the community. But when he first found out about the fires, his fire chief mentality took over. What's happening? What's How fast will this move? It's moving fast. He says even though he's no longer on the ground, he's still thinking about the ways people could escape. That people are in their cars yelling and screaming, go away, but you can't, where are you going to go? There's no place to go. There's one road in and one road out in Lahaina. The most recent data shows more than 95 people have been found dead, and Ng says the search has just begun. He says part of the recovery efforts include marking those cars with bodies in them. Over a thousand missing. That's, that's, as you walk past, they say that the cars were holding people in. You, they don't want to open the doors, so you're trapped inside. Kelly Road lives in Myrtle Beach now, but he used to live in Hawaii along with three of his family members who lived in Maui. Inside, though, I've lived in Hawaii so long that my heart is Hawaiian. He told me if the fires happened earlier, much of his family would have been affected. So that's really hit me, and my brother's involved right now because he's uh, in charge of the fire science program at the University of Hawaii. Both Road and Ng told me it's the Ohana mentality that is keeping the community standing. If you hear them speak, it's not, I lost my home. It's, it's we lost our home. Lahaina is gone. Ng told me the post office in Lahaina burned down, so he recommends people who want to help the survivors send donations to the Kanapali Beach Ministry. We'll have a link to donate in this story at WBTW.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Claire Purnell, News 13.